Hi everybody, Finton here from Dams and Cloud. On this week, I wanted to talk about security audits. They're a popular service here at Dams and Cloud, and I thought it might be valuable to run through exactly what they are. I'm going to cover what is a security audit, why you should get a security audit for your Google Workspace environment, what kind of challenges do organizations face who are looking for security audits, and finally, what are the steps of a Google Workspace security assessment or audit that we actually take um, when we take you through them? <clears throat> so firstly, what is a security audit? Well, the Google Workspace security assessment or audit helps improve the security posture of your Google domain through an assessment of the current configurations, security processes, and procedures. It aims to evaluate the security settings and processes and procedures document and prioritize the next steps to help you actually improve your security posture. And they'll also train your administrators and IT team on, on, on how to review the security best practices. There's a couple of objectives here. Um, obviously auditing the Google Workspace settings and we find that customers they haven't often done that. You know, maybe it was something that they did when they first moved to Google, but it's not something that they're kind of doing on a regular basis. Maybe it's been a few years or even longer. Um, and they just really want to document those and write them down um, so that they have that recorded somewhere. Create an implementation plan to address the security improvements uh, and initiatives and technically enable your team to execute on these key recommendations. There's a couple of deliverables as well. We will give you a document that will give you a detailed review of your actual security settings, Google's best practices, an executive review of the recommendations and a prioritized list of the actions that we recommend that you should take. So why would you get a security audit? Well, there are many reasons why organizations um, want to get a security audit of their Google environment. However, there are kind of com a couple of common uh, reasons that people tend to come to us. Um, I'd say probably the top three are around eliminating risks. They want to guard against new and existing security threats and they want to make sure that they're kind of leveraging all of the tools um, that are at their disposal al already. Awareness is another big one where they want to improve and adopt um, the security features amongst their IT team and indeed their end users. And then the other area tends to be incident response management where they want to increase the effectiveness of actually responding to an incident um, if or indeed when it might occur within the organization, particularly around Google Workspace. So what are the challenges that organizations tend to face who are looking for a security audit? Well, often we're talking to the IT teams and they've perhaps taken over from somebody else. So they didn't actually set up the Google Workspace environment and they maybe feel that they can't kind of stand over the settings uh, and the policies that are in place. So they want someone else to come in as a third party and just look at those settings and say, yes, this is, this is how we would set this up as a Google partner who's done this hundreds of times. This is what we would recommend. Um, the other area is if an organization has grown very rapidly, maybe they've, they've had a lot of growth or they've gotten funding and they've grown very quickly. And maybe the settings that they had in place in the organization was small, was fine, but now they need someone again to kind of come in and look and say, well, now we're 100 staff, now we're, now we're 500 staff. Um, we have these other requirements now that we didn't have uh, before. This can sometimes be accompanied by external factors. Perhaps the organization wants to incre increase its security posture because of investment or acquisition or indeed an ISO um, requirement. That's, that's often, you know, a customer's maybe doing a, 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 an ISO certification at, a, at, a, at another level. They're looking at all of their IT systems and Google Workspace obviously being one of the core systems that our business is using and that all of their users are using um, will fall under that as well. Um, the other area is if a customer has upgraded to a higher tier. So we see this where a customer is upgraded to maybe enterprise from one of the business tiers. And again, they don't feel like they're fully leveraging all of the security features on the platform. Um, and this again is common when an organization is, is growing. And I kind of feel here like we've seen interesting examples in, in all of these different areas where, you know, a customer isn't using DLP, but they have data loss prevention on uh, the Google Workspace system, they've upgraded to enterprise, but they're not actually leveraging that, those DLP or context aware access features. That's a very common one. Also, we see when an, when an organization has had Google Workspace for a long time, maybe some settings that were in place again when the organization was, was smaller. So for example, when you create a document 
that anyone in the organization can read that document if they have the link. Now, that might be fine when you're 10 users or 50 users, but when you're 100 or 1,000, you maybe you don't want everybody to be able to just view a document if they have the link. And again, people might think, oh, that's okay, they'd have to get the link. But I've seen scenarios where maybe someone has put a link to a document in a calendar appointment. The calendars are set up that everybody can see everybody else's calendar. Again, maybe an early setting within the business. And suddenly someone has access to a document that they shouldn't. So again, it's just about evaluating those settings, <clears throat> documenting them and seeing, is that the best practice? And does that make sense for us, for our organization? So what are the steps of a security workspace assessment? Well, before I go into this, I thought it might be useful to look at the scope and what we tend to include within the scope of the security auditor assessment. The technical configuration is an obvious one. We're going to review those security configurations and processes that are associated with Google Workspace. We're going to look at the policies and procedures and the best practices that Google have. Um, we're going to look at things like identity and authentication, account recovery, user provisioning, um, you know, controlling administrator access. We often see that too many super admins on an account. We're going to look at things like e-discovery, security operations, admin alerts, event monitoring, incident response handling. Within Gmail, we're going to look at authentication, encryption, content compliance. Google Drive is another popular area. Looking at the sharing settings, the syncing capabilities, the DLP within Drive. Access controls for other services, like maybe Google Calendar or Chat or Meet, directory services. And then at kind of a high level, we're going to look at those device management capabilities. We're going to make sure that we educate your team, that we guide them on how to execute on these top priorities that we're recommending. And then obviously we're going to give that um, recommendation uh, plan and the execution plan that, with the prioritizations that your team can take away uh, and actually execute on that. What kind of things are out of scope? So out of scope is going to be stuff like Chrome OS, browser security configurations, and um, third-party apps is, a, is another big one. Customers could have dozens or even hundreds of third-party applications. We definitely don't have time to get into all of those. Um, so they tend to be out of scope. Uh, and also the, the user settings within those third-party apps. Chrome web applications um, and the actual implementation of the changes, so the remediations. We're not going to do those as part of the audit. Sometimes, cust sometimes customers might pay us afterwards to do those, but we generally me recommend that we're doing it with the IT team because they're training and we're enabling them as part of the process. So what are the steps in the Google Workspace Security Assessment? Well. Um, there's kind of four key steps. Initially, we have that kickoff meeting where we meet with the IT team and the security team and we discuss your specific requirements. Why is it that your organization is looking to do this right now? Because that's valuable for us to know if there's been a security incident, if it's part of an ISO um, audit or, or certification. It's valuable for our team to know what's behind um, that drive to, to do this audit right now. Then we get administrator access. <clears throat> excuse me, we get administrator access from you and we go and we look at the settings within um, your Google Workspace environment and we do that full audit and document every single feature um, and, and setting uh, within, within the platform. Then we, we go back and we, and we um, identify those potential risks and those recommendations and that prioritization list. And then the education piece happens where we conduct that security workshop and surface those um, audit results and promote those best practices and some of our proposed recommendations with our execution plan. And then we're working with your team to help implement those uh, recommendations and you know whether that's sort of training or whether um, that's just support that your team needs to implement that. And um, that tends to be that sort of next step or final step. I hope you guys found this video valuable. If you or your organization need to improve your security posture on Google Workspace, or perhaps you're just unsure about um, whether you're fully leveraging all of the security features and capabilities within the Google platform, then why not get in touch with our team today? We'd be happy to set up a discovery call to discuss your organization's specific requirements. Thanks for listening to me today. I hope you guys found this uh, valuable. If you haven't subscribed to the Dams and Cloud YouTube channel, please do that. Or if you're watching this on some other social media platforms, please do follow us on there as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.